I hope you're all really well. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm just about to head out into Canterbury because I've got to get some flowers. I've got a shoot day today at home, so I need to make this out, make the place look nice and pretty and set up for that. It's for a an incense brand, so I'm shooting it myself. It's for an incense brand and I'm excited because this is my favorite thing to do. So user generated content um, where brands will send me their products to shoot in my home is like my favorite thing to do. So I love shooting. I'd rather shoot products than shoot myself, to be honest. Uh, I find it, I just find it really fun. And I love styling, like styling scenes and stuff like that. And like telling stories through imagery. I think it's just really cool. So that's like one of the best parts of my job. And actually something that I didn't realize was involved in being an influencer was doing that kind of work. Uh, so it's just, it's so funny how you learn and pick things up on the way and then you end up doing something that you actually really love that you didn't know that you would do. But yeah, less babbling from me and let's get to Canterbury. from Canterbury I went to meet my friend Sara today and we did some content together which was really nice it was so nice to get out of the house because I don't think I've seen anyone for two weeks other than my husband so I it was starting to take its toll on me mentally you know you just don't talk to anyone <laughs> so that was really nice it was really refreshing 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 it was really refreshing and makes you realize how important it is to be connected to people and community and friendship so i mean it's not something i feel like i take for granted anyway but it's always good to have a reminder of those things i'm gonna sit down now and do some editing from the stuff that we got today which will be nice i would be doing it tomorrow really but I'm recording a podcast tomorrow with a friend of mine who lives in Margate called Naomi and so I'm going to be on her podcast. I'm going to her house to record it and I'm really looking forward to it because I love stuff like that. So that should be really fun and again I've gone kind of gone from zero to a hundred because I haven't, I've gone from not seeing anyone to seeing someone today tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday so I'm seeing friends every single day this week which I'm really grateful for I need to get out of my shell I have been accepted for my Invisalign so I should be getting that in the next couple of weeks or so which I've wanted to do my teeth for years and years and years and I can't believe I'm finally going to get it done. I always thought that I had to get it done in my 20s um, and by the time that I was 30 it would be too late and then when I got to my 30s I was like actually <laughs> 30 still feels really young and that you know just feels so silly that we put a sort of age limit on things. So I'm 33 and I'm getting a Misalign and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, I'm actually working from the living room because I do have a space with my desk in the other room, but the windows don't close in there properly, so it's quite chilly. It's very cramped in there, so I just prefer it in here while we are still figuring the house out. So yeah, I tend to work from the living room, which isn't good because it's not a proper chair. I've got a proper computer chair in my office, which is really comfortable. Um, but yeah, I'm just on like this wooden Ikea chair. I'm 
hosting a dinner. I've got a nice week because I'm hosting a dinner party on Thursday, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm just very grateful to be, I'm so grateful to be feeling so much better. The sickness thing really took, took me out. It like, I was ill and then I got a little bit better and then I got ill again with it and I was ill for like two days. So, and then yeah, I just had nausea for about a week after that because it just messes up your insides, you know? So lots of things still make, I still can't drink coffee. That still like makes me feel sick. Um, but most things now I feel fine with. I thought I'd show you my outfit for today. So I've got on this Cezanne jumper, which I've not really taken off since I got it. A Topshop t-shirt and these Adidas trousers with just my New Balance trainers, if they're not focusing, with my New Balance trainers, which have seen better days. But anyway, going to Margate today to record a podcast and I am due on, so I just wanna be wearing something really comfortable. And yeah, I'm in that phase where it's like, I can't really bother to get dressed, so just, oversized and baggy is what is required for today. In school, it kid, do kids have to do a lot of handwriting still? Or do they do it on? Does like every kid have a laptop? They seem to get laptops earlier. But no, there's still emphasis on handwriting. So they have to like write stuff out in class, they can't type that? No. Because no. someone was talking about Tipex. Yeah. Tip-ex, that's a flashback. I know, and that's what I thought. It's like such a... One of like a core childhood memory of mine is that I had these new pencils and I'm, you know how I'm like quite particular about my things uh -huh. and like keeping things safe and like nice. Well, I had these new pencils and I brought them into my school and my friend wanted to borrow them, borrow one and I said no because I like wanted to keep them nice. And then I got in so much trouble for it. Really? Yeah, by the teachers. I was being selfish and I wasn't sharing. Um, Did you have to give it? I fell out with my friend and stuff. Did you ever fall back into friendship or was that the end? Yeah, I think we did at one point. Do you know who that friend was? Yeah, of course. Is it someone I know? Generous, it's not, yeah, it's not about generosity, I think. I think it's just about like keeping things tidy. Today is Wednesday and George and I are off, so just heading out for a walk. This is my walking outfit. Got these thermal leggings from Marks and Spencers and I actually thought that I'd ordered the black, but the gray ones came and I was like, oh, whatever. So yeah, <laughs> not the most glam outfit, but this is what I'm wearing for a, for a walk. We're gonna go to, there's a bakery kind of in the middle of nowhere outside of Canterbury, so we're going to go there and then walk around. We didn't check the weather. I'm normally so good at checking the weather. So the walk is very short, but quite nice to feel like you've blown the cobwebs away. But yeah, we're 
we're ready to go back inside now. Second outfit of the day, this is what I'm wearing for book club. So I have my ASOS shoes on with these Adidas jogging bottoms. I also have these in green. I bought them because more into comfy clothes than I am not comfy clothes, but most of my wardrobe isn't comfy clothes. And I heard a statistic that you wear 80, no, 20% of your wardrobe, 80% of the time. And so I was like, I kind of need to dress for what I'm actually doing rather than dressing for like what I want to be doing, if that makes sense. So, sorry, this is getting so bright. Um, is that better? It just changes, okay. There's some funky settings going on in this camera. <laughs> Um, I will sort that out, but yeah, so I bought these and lo and behold, worn them non-stop since I got them. And then I'm wearing on top this And Other Stories jumper with this And Other Stories shirt underneath. So I quite like the mixture of something that's like quite casual and sporty with something that's a little bit more feminine and softer and prettier. I quite like that juxtaposition. It feels like still quite me without it being too because it was all sports where I think I would feel too scruffy so this is my look for book club and I've washed my hair so really looking forward to it I'm can't remember if I said we're discussing a book called Piglet which is really good but I'll talk about that more in a bit oh we need to get the book the book club last night was so good so it was this book piglet and it was in margate and it's by ladies lit club and they do book clubs in london um, but one of the girls that runs it lives in margate now so she's um doing them in margate which is really cool and they had the author there so she, the author came at the end for a Q&A. So we discussed the book first and then the author came for a Q&A at the end, which was just really cool. It was just such a nice event and so much more than I expected. But yeah, I really recommend reading this book actually. It's so cool. It's about a woman who discovers something the week before her wedding. And the whole thing is so tense because it's like, will they get married or not? And it's brilliant. And there's a lot of, um, references to food and there's a there's a scene with the croc and bouche at the end which is just like oh my gosh you'll have a knot in your stomach honestly we couldn't stop talking about that bit last night so yeah highly recommend reading this i'm going to sign off the vlog here so thank you so much for watching this week i hope you enjoyed it and do let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to include next week i still need to do more i was planning to do sort of like tours of each room in each vlog but um I obviously haven't done that this week so I will do that next week but let me know if there's a certain place that you want to see next but have a great week and day like whatever you're doing and I'll see you again soon bye